starting with the DSMS TV news, March 4th, 2021. It's almost Friday, everyone. Now on to Mr. Hummer, the DDAs, and the birthdays with Maya. Good morning, Sidewinders. Tonight, a very special teacher will be honored at our school board meeting. Mrs. Somar was nominated by our colleagues to receive recognition for her support of our students, teachers, and community at DSMS. Mrs. Somar is our instructional coach this year. She supports teacher and teachers and effective teaching in so many ways at our school. Many eighth grade students had Mrs. Somar as your math teacher last school year. Here's a portion of her nominating letter. And again, this came from her colleagues. Mrs. Somar has been with Paradise a long time. She even attended DSMS, the very school she's been working at for her nine uh, years of teaching. She also touched many families at Sonoran Sky before landing at DSMS. Mrs. Somar wears many hats. This year, she took on the role of instructional coach, but is still working very closely with teachers and students at our school. She comes to school each day to make everyone's lives a little easier and to help out as best she can, to listen, lend a hand, without ever acting as if she is overwhelmed or putting herself out. She is a superhero. I swear I don't know where DSMS would be without her. She is the heart of our school in so many ways and deserves this recognition. Congratulations, Mrs. Omar, for a well, very well-deserved honor. If you see her today, share your appreciation and congratulations. This is a well-deserved honor. I hope to see many other DSMS teachers honored by our school board as a part of our UPC Teacher Appreciation Program. Those teachers who receive a nomination from a student or parent will receive a special recognition from the school board. This is your chance to share in the caring and appreciation that you hold for that special teacher at DSMS. It will mean a lot to them. You've heard it said, and it is absolutely true, that we've been through a lot over the last year. Most of us have benefited uh, from the support of someone special, maybe a teacher or staff member that worked with us to help us through a difficult time. Later today, I am going to send all students a link to the UPC nomination form and process. This is a very straightforward and it can, can be completed online. I'd like to invite all of you to fill one out or maybe more than one if you decide. You don't have to spend a lot of time on it, but I will tell you this, that what you write and how you express yourself in that statement is often much more special and meaningful to the teacher than the board recognition itself. So take a little time and let that special teacher know just how you feel and try to use the right words. The nomination forms are due by March 10th, so you have about a week. I can tell you that all of the chatter and discussion in the teacher's lounge and in the hallways after students are dismissed is about how great it is to be back with our students in person how right it is that we are slowly moving back to the way things ought to be with school. We've missed you. Consider nominating a teacher for recognition when you get my email later today. Wouldn't it be great to have a huge group of DSMS teachers and staff members recognized this year of all years? So you can make it happen. Thank you for thinking about this with me. Miss Christy, Mr. Randall. This morning we're going to take some time to talk to you about a few really important things here on our campus. I want to talk to you a little bit about the cafeteria rules and also just take some time so that you guys know when you come in for lunch, I want to be able to get you through the line as quick as possible. I know that the line can take a little bit of time and so in order to get you through, if you guys will make sure when you come into the cafeteria, go all the way around. Don't cut through the cafeteria. We want to make sure that you're taking the whole way around. It's for contact tracing. There is a reason for it. When you get in the line, I really, really appreciate if you please do not cut in front of other people. What that does when you cut is, and it makes it longer. 
Um, the other thing is that if you can space out in the line, I really appreciate it. I know the other day we tried kind of a different tact, tactic um, in terms of kind of heading outside. Um, and I know that a lot of you didn't love the idea. And so in order to keep things the way they are, if we can space things out in the line, that way we can keep everybody inside, get through the line as quick as possible, and get you guys eating um, and then having social time for the rest of the time in lunch. That's it. Thanks, now to Ms. Sabrina. All right, guys, so we're going to go over some rules for sports days, which I believe are going to be Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. And, of course, Fun Friday is music day. Um, but as far as sports goes, I really need, need you guys to be on your best behavior. Um, first of all, make sure um, you have 10 minutes to eat. Make sure you clean up all your trash. And then you take all your belongings with you because once you come out, you stay out. And I will excuse you at, at the end of lunch through the gates. Um, first, make sure you guys are not kicking any of the basketballs, any of the footballs. Make sure you're not hitting each other, throwing balls at each other. Um, please be respectful on the court. And listen to me and Mr. Randall. And um, I will blow the wheel, so usually about two to three minutes at the, before the end of lunch. And that'll let you guys know that, hey, it's time to get your stuff. Let's keep it moving. For seventh grade, I need your guys' help to bring the cart out with all the basketballs. And whoever assists me with that usually will have first dibs on the balls. Um, and that's it for seventh grade. For eighth grade, at the end of lunch, I need you guys to grab all the balls off the courts and put them back in the cart. I really appreciate that. And um, again, no food, no d drinks on the court um, other than water. And um, I think that's pretty much it. I want to continue doing it. So guys, please be on your best behavior. Thank you. And now to Miss Christie. Hey, guys. I just want to talk to you about table seating out in the courtyard during lunch. Um, for the most part, you've all been doing a really good job. It's six per table. Um, some of the other tables have four chairs. We'd like to keep those tables with just four people at them. And that's about it. Just be mindful of how many people are at your table. And when you're done eating, throw away your trash, put your mask, or put your mask on first, throw away your trash, and then you're free to move about. And Mr. Randall. And we know that numbers are getting better. Watching the news, hearing reports, we seem to be going in the right direction, but that means we still have a ways to go. So please leave your masks on when you leave your table. Go take away your trash. Mask up when you stand up. It's so important we can get through this, but we're taking the positive steps, and that's one big one. Also, trash. Make sure that you do put your trash away because one, we won't be able to go out and do sports uh, until the trash is picked up, but it's just a good habit to get into. So please mask up, trash up. All right, that's it. Thank you. Hi, it's Maya with the birthdays. The only birthday today is Jenna Koistinen. Happy birthday, now to Kate with the lunch. It's time for lunch. Today for lunch is a rib barbecue sandwich and a sandwich pack. Now to Luna with the weather. Hi DSMS, it's Luna with the weather. Today we have a high of 70 degrees and a low of 49 degrees. We also have a 20% chance of rain. And now back to the anchor. <laughs> What do lawyers wear to a court? A lawsuit. That's all for now, DSMS, and have a great day.